everybody welcome back to another awesome day another awesome vlog it's craft day today i have been in a crafty mood lately and i have come up with a really really cute gift idea also something that you can use in your own home but this gift could be used for a wedding if you want to give someone something special or just a nice little thank you even for someone so we are going to be making really cute little picture frames with words that you can use with scrabble tiles and they are so cute. Let me show you what you need in order to make a project like this. For this project, you will need some Scrabble tiles from a Scrabble game, some different size picture frames to choose from, some Elmer's glue and a foam paintbrush. I have some foam sticky tape, some little pearls, some white buttons, and some decorative tape, some pretty little beads, teeny tiny little beads. As you can see, they're really, really small. And I have some cutout shapes that I cut out with my Cricut. I'll do a video another time on the Cricut machine if anyone is interested. I've been thinking about doing one um, and talking about how you can connect it to your computer and print any shape you'd like. And that's how I got these shapes. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is decide which frame to use and I've decided I'm going to use this frame. So now I'm going to take the size of my frame so I know exactly what I have to work with. The frame I chose is 5x5 five five, so I've cut a piece of white cardstock and this is what I'm going to use to work on. Next I'm going to choose my shape. I've cut out some different shapes. This can be for a flower. I have a star as well but I'm going to use for this project a heart. I have two layers, so the first thing I'm going to do is work with this light pink layer. I'm going to use my Elmer's glue. I'm just going to put some on my foam sponge and I'm just going to put it all over the heart and make sure I have enough. I'm going to show you two different ideas, one with beads and one with buttons. So the first one I'm going to do is with the beads. I'm just going to choose these really pretty little light pink ones. And I'm just going to sprinkle the beads all over where I have put the glue on my heart until it's covered. And I'm going to gently tap them down so they can dry. While my heart is drying, I'm going to show you another example and that is using buttons. But for these, I'm not gonna use my sponge. Instead, I'm going to directly glue the buttons on the heart and cover the heart completely. So as you can see, I've chosen a lot of different buttons, different sizes, but all similar, um, just cream colored. So I'm just gonna lay them out here and I'm just gonna start gluing them down. I'm gonna put a dot of glue and pick a button and just start filling in. I'm gonna let that dry. This is an up close view of my two samples that I've made. I've added some glue to the back of my heart and I'm going to glue it toward the top of my paper and center it side to side, just like that. Next, I'm going to use this 3D pop-up foam tape 
to put on top, and that's what I'm gonna attach the heart with just to give it a little dimension. Next, I'm going to use my Scrabble tiles. I've actually chosen the letters to spell out the word love, and I'm going to glue these on right along the bottom of my paper. I'm going to take my frame and I'm going to remove the glass so that my picture will fit nicely in here. Alright everybody, I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make these really cute little picture frames. You can make them small, big, you can add to them and make them more elaborate if you want. Um, of course I had some other supplies out that I didn't end up using, but they're different ideas of things that you can use in your project. If you want to add some decorative tape on here or just some little pearls or anything you want to spice it up just to make yours unique. I hope you enjoy making this gift for someone or if you don't need to make it for a gift, of course you can make it for yourself. You can put your family name here. If you're giving it to someone who's getting married, you can put love, you can put Mr. and Mrs. And even the date, you can just hand write or type on a piece of paper the date that they got married and attach it at the bottom. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.